It's a kind of exciting day. I'm here with the man and <laughs> my Ferrari's coming. <laughs> Your Ferrari. <laughs> He's always wanted a Ferrari. Well, some people want Ferraris, some people want really, really, really nice fish. And this is a ten thousand dollar koi. What? So, what? So my president and CFO are calling this fish Ferrari because it's the most expensive fish Aquascape has ever bought or I have ever bought. I have yet to see this fish. So right now, this fish is coming from New Jersey to Long Island. Sean Rose in the Koi Market allows you to drive up 150 of our fish for sale. And Japanese Koi. Japanese Koi, uh -huh. and they're incredible looking fish. And then your fish hitchhike yes. to ride up here. <laughs> yes, because my fish was from Brian Fitzsimmons at Fitzwater Creek, so he, he's driving it along with the, these Japanese koi. Yep. So okay. these guys have been driving 15 hours. Straight. You'll get to see what, what somebody looks like after driving 15 hours. Straight. <laughs> Kinda like you. Yeah. <laughs> Morning Greg Sam from Japan. I'm here at Shintro Koi Farm, a place that you really loved when you were here with us. Um, and he's got a little surprise for you. Um, so I hope you'll love it when it gets back to Aqualand. Um, shouldn't be too long, but yeah, what a fantastic surprise. It was even worth waking up at 6 a.m. for Greg. All right, man, let's go and have a look. You got a Ferrari in the Cadillac. It is. Awesome. What do we got in here? This is my first time meeting you, right, Sean? Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to hey, meet you too. Good to see yeah. You, You've been gone 15 hours, guys. 15 hours. Yeah. All right, we got some fish <laughs> back there. In the back, we got the fish in the back. That's awesome. Well, we got a team to help you unload. Awesome. <laughs> here they are. You guys know there's a Ferrari in there, right? <laughs> There's a guy back there? <laughs> All right, pop the truck. Let's see what we got here. So, Andrew, how are we going to do this? It's like a 36 inch Sankey, right? I don't know anything about this fish. This came from Japan. This is a fish that you picked out last year. Yep. I believe you were with. Well, no, I didn't pick it out. I asked Tim Waddington from KoiTrips.com to pick out one for me. Okay. And he got it from Shotaro at the very last day and then shipped it over here. And now you're bringing it here. Our pleasure. Thank Our you. Pleasure. And then all the rest of the fish, too, that Brian's got. What year is this for you in business, Sean? This is 10. Okay. 10 years. Okay. Uh, that thing is worth more than you, Colby. <laughs> it's not very nice. <laughs> well, he's only been here for what, three days? Yeah. Maybe if you're here for three years, I'll say that you're worth more than that. <laughs> From Japan to Aqualand. What a beast! What a beast! I think we got a bigger daddy in there. Wow! <laughs> wow! Is there an age they, estimation? No, no age estimate. Well, I could probably find out because he would know because this is a special fish. Look at that. Okay, so we're acclimating them all right now with the temperature, right, Andrew? Yep. So what do we got? We've got more bags than I can count, all <laughs> Japanese koi. How exciting is this? Super exciting. They're about, what, two years, Sean? Are they Nisai or Tosai? These are, these are Tosai. Yeah, so they're first year koi, right? First year koi Tosai, right? Yep. How many fish did you bring us, 150? Uh, we, we did 150. Yeah. So a lot of these fish here yeah. were, so I tend to buy higher end Tosai and then we'll grow them out. Yep. So this is stuff that I bought last year and we carried over to the spring. I have all new shipments of fish coming in. So, so I you got them one year ago? Yep. You got them when they were yeah, six so, months so, old? So they're just they're just on the cut of these. These fish are a year and a half old? Yeah, roughly. Yeah. yeah. How many different breeders yeah. did you use for these? We got a bunch of different. Things. So they're all mixed from different breeders out in Japan? They are. This is exciting. So what are we doing here? We're gonna we're put the water so it doesn't mix, fish. right? I don't wanna handle it outside of here. Yes. So we're gonna cut the bag and let them out in here. Yep, so we're not gonna mix the water from the bag with the water from the pond, right? Just because there's so much ammonia in it from him traveling. This 
is the first time he's seeing the light of day at Aqualand, out of the bay. This is so exciting. My beautiful Sankey Ferrari. First time I get to see him outside the bag. Oh my goodness, look at those colors. I love the markings. I love that both sides of his face are white and the top is orangish red. You can see a little bit of stress back there in his tail. Wow, gorgeous fish. Let's put him up against and see exactly how big he is. <laughs> Thirty-five inches. Beautiful. I love my job. Tell, tell the viewers what you're doing there. So we got a couple of things. Uh, the box that this fish was shipped in. We, you know, I'm not sure we packed it, but it, it was it was shipped in a box that may have been a little bit too small. Oh, I see. So it hit its fins. Um, mm -hmm. So the fish is what is it? Fish thirty-five inches, thirty-six inches. I think the box that it was shipped in was thirty-six inches. Sure. Although it was packed, whenever you're driving with a large fish, you never want to have the, the fish always has to be sideways, right? You don't want to have the fish going straight in because if you stop short, move it's forward, it's, it's, it's sliding backwards and forth. So it was, we made sure that it was it was sideways. That being said, it looks like it still has some damage on the fins. You can see on the back, on the tail here. So we're gonna clean that up. On our dorsal, we're gonna clean this up a little bit too. Just gonna use a little bit of iodine because that's that's what we have here. But it's just something to keep an eye on. And so the iodine will help. I'm just gonna help clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Such an awesome thing to have a professional come here and not just bring the fish, but teach us a lot. So yeah. we're looking to learn as much from Sean as we possibly can over the next day and a half. And it's such a pleasure to have somebody here like that. So here they are doing his thing. We would call him the Koi Whisperer because the way he's able to handle these guys. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Be there it's pretty, pretty awesome. 12 36-inch koi no, is actually maybe, pretty impressive. Okay. Oh, that makes more sense. You can see the red. Okay. Stress. Nice. That was awesome. got his Lamborghinis. Now Sean also brought two Doitsu Ochibas, which are actually already sold to customers from last year. So he's been holding on to these fish for Aquascape for six months and just kind of holding on. These are, to me, one of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. I can't wait to unpack these guys and show you what's inside this bag. I don't know if I'm in the minority of people that like these Doitsu Ochibas. That's my favorite. It's my, it's absolutely my favorite fish because you don't see them all the time. I was talking to a koi breeder. He said they're really hard to breed. Huh? So here we go. Yeah. My favorite koi in the whole world. And in fact, I've been looking for this fish for years and years and years. That is gorgeous. Oh, there are gonna be some happy customers. They're so unique. Yeah. Those of you guys that have been following us know that Aqualand is a far from boring place. Sean got here early this morning, brought in all the fish. You saw Greg's incredible fish. I'm actually gonna go back there and check on them. At the same time, all these signs are going up. Check out these new signs we got put in. Super cool. The Pond Guy channel on YouTube. Team Aquascape over there, Ed the Pond Professor. Things have got had to be all moved, put back together. The store is still busy. We got all these great fish back in through here. Let's go check on Greg's new one. Oh my God, you can see him from here. It's amazing, because I remember thinking that that butterfly koi was enormous, and he is. I mean, that is a monster fish. But when you look at that fish next to Greg's new fish, it's insane how big this thing is. <laughs> I mean, it's like a small child swimming around in here. Absolutely gorgeous. So come see Koizilla. 
the largest fish we've ever seen. Greg's gonna call him Ferrari because that's what Colleen calls him, our president, because it's about the same cost. I'm gonna call him Koizilla, but Koizilla will be here for years and years and years to come. You have to come check him out. I also want you guys to come in and see all of our other new Japanese koi. There's some really, really cool fish in here. But, I mean, look at the colors on this guy. Just amazing. And really, every single one of these is like a painting, and it's all in the eye of the beholder. I mean, there's some really rare colors in here. Where'd that guy go? You saw him. Some cool black and white ones. Let's move this net so you can really see in there. Look how bright and vibrant some of those colors are. Just incredible. So these guys bring them in early so we can make sure they're parasite free. We can get them acclimated out here. Just get them quarantined and ready for sale in the next month or so. So we've got these and then Sean's gonna probably bring out some more for us in the next two to three weeks once these guys have kind of conditioned the system here. God, that fish is so awesome. So anyways, a huge, huge selection of fantastic fish. We've got my two favorites, those Joitsu Ochibas over here. Let's see if we can find those guys. That's my favorite one. And then I don't know where the other guy is. Probably on the other side of the tank over there. Oh yeah, here they are. One, two, so cool. Super rare, rare cool fish. Well, hey guys, that's just part of Aqualand. If you guys are ever in the Illinois St. Charles area, make sure you come by and visit. Ask for me, there's a chance I'll be here. There's a higher chance I won't, but uh, <laughs> if I'm around, I would love to say hi and get to meet you. Thanks so much for watching. Tell all your friends, like, comment, subscribe, and tell them about Aqualand, because they'll have a blast coming here just hanging out. See you soon, bye.